Team, team Lucius right now. Yeah. Just taking out Darai a little That's bit ago. That's huge for him. <laughs> yeah, so starting in losers here. Um, this is... <laughs> This is kind of tragic. I mean, getting an upset and then playing Penguin. That's just yeah, kind of how it's really it goes. It's really unfortunate. He, Lucius has been doing extremely well right now in Lucius to make a top 8 finish for himself, outplacing his seed, and now he has to play against Penguin of all people because yeah. he just managed to make his way into losers. <laughs> and right out the gate, Penguin's kind of throwing him way too far off stage, not able to recover in time. Yeah, he's really, really comfortable with just pushing Rana really, really far and just giving him as much as possible. It's a really interesting matchup because a lot of the time it's really hard to contest Rana with your normals as Abza, but just putting Cloud at ledge is incredibly good because of the disjoint that uh, Rana has on his uppy. You can't really challenge that normally with just like F tilt, down tilt, things like that. All right. So the edge guard is a lot of like putting Cloud at ledge and just finding ways to interrupt between his uppy. Lucia's doing pretty good so far. It's really hard to contest someone of Penguin's caliber, but he's definitely holding his own right now. Yeah, for sure. In the back air, and there's a stock. Yeah, looking pretty solid for a game one. Penguin's been demolishing a lot of his opponents recently in yeah. terms of just incredibly strong starts off the, out the gate with Uda, with my own set, and then with uh, Giga in game one, where he got 2-0 to death just off the rip. So Lucius is actually doing pretty well right now. Just kind of holding his own, kind of picking apart a little bit with needles as he usually does. Very just like single needle, non-interactive gameplay. Just a lot of like poking with Nair, little stuff like that. Yeah. Much more methodical, Rano. Ooh, wow. still getting that up air through the bubble. I thought like the hit stun on that, because the bubble reduces it a little bit, wouldn't be enough, but he timed that perfectly. Mm -hmm. He's going to be able to kill and not quite laughing in percent, but still creating a Lucius doesn't have an air dodge. Penguin tried to make the most out of it, but he sneaks by with the upbeat. He's doing a lot more like platform play, honestly. Lucius tends to usually be a little bit more grounded or just not like using being as fast, but he's kind of just like approaching with like landing bear a lot in order right. to just like shark penguins approaches. Contest that up special, which is a huge part of dealing with this matchup. Contesting it with needles, contesting it with nair, just some lingering hitbox to be able to snipe Absa when she does her upbeat teleports. Yeah, definitely, because Ronald doesn't really have disjoint to just outright beat it out. So kind of just got to block that area. Yeah, your body. definitely be pretty difficult, especially finding a way to not do it in a super committal way where you might accidentally trade with like up tilt, for example. Right. Lucius just having really good feints with these uppies where he'll just kind of like do it and then fade back. He managed to get by at ledge on the right side with that. A penguin off stage getting hit by the thunder line. His, these tongue slings have been really good for Lucius, especially with his set with Darai, where he just kind of uses those. The thing is, if he whiffs them, then he gets to be able to just sling off of it. But if he hits, he gets a tongue. The Thunderline catching him off the side. Penguin taking game one. Lucius not doing too bad, though. Yeah, honestly, not bad at all, just considering, like, you know, it is Penguin. There he was some good stuff there. Yeah, when you're playing a player of his caliber, just being able to, you know, hold your own and keep up with it's important. He misses the tech there, and it costs him. I wonder if he just didn't think he was going to get hit. Because honestly, I might have done that. I might have just misread the situation. Ooh, yeah. Classic Penguin edge guard right there, just hitting him once and three fair chains. It's really hard to drift, and a player of his caliber will just nail that every single mm -hmm. time. You yeah, know, that was seven second stock, but it's like three moves. But at the same time, like, I probably would have died there. Yeah. It's really, really hard to get a drift on that perfectly, because if you hold in, hold just up air. If you, like, drift too far hard out, you'll get hit by, like, two fares and then die off the side. Mm -hmm. Getting that perfect drift is really, really hard to do, and sometimes if he can catch that and respond to it properly, you just die no matter what. Yeah. It's not like he just has to do fair. He can also use other aerials, particularly up air. Yeah, I've even seen, like, a little bit of sour, like, dare, and then pop him up for another fair, or, mm -hmm. like, reposition like he did getting a sour fair and then a sweet fair afterwards. Right. Let's talk about the stage pick, though. I know Lucius loves Spirit Tree, and it's a, it's a Rano staple, but at the same time, it's also a very strong Absa stage. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Lucius is getting kills off the side, which, I mean, this stage has small blast zones all around. But it is most infamous for its low top blast in, which Absolutely. is going to really benefit Penguin, because we haven't really seen a lot of upstrongs coming out. Yeah, it was mostly out of like parry punish shows or maybe like to catch a tongue sling going in. But for right. the most part, it's mostly just been like kills off the sides, apart from that thunder line at the end of game one. It was just, I mean, he's very known for his bubble stalling. Catch, yeah, you never want to air dodge or jump up there. It just perfect bait for Absa to just go for an up air. Mm -hmm. If you get fared a couple times, they're going to just, and they don't can't really catch on to it, they'll just try and bait the air dodge up and then just catch you with an up air. Just like that, that jump there, Lucius almost like got in a really bad situation there. Yeah. Getting the parry, Ooh, but... Missed times that. Yeah, not killing. Sweet Spot might have done it. It's like, if he charged it a little bit more and had more time. Yeah. 
Fair. They were seeing a good drift coming out from Lucius. He's trying to catch the tech chase out there, but Penguin kind of mixes them up. It might be hard to get this confirmed because Penguin's just going to drift up and time it so that he doesn't get hit by any like more. Yeah. He's doing a good job just kind of keeping his stage control in the center, just kind of like mixing up his movement. Very, really, really good from Lucius. Holding his own here in this game too. Yeah. He's... A stock situation. Oh, oh no. no. Is he dead here? Yep. Yeah. I know he likes to use those bubble stalls a lot. Like every time he's at a very high percent because he'll just DI into them. Penguin hits him with like a fair and he just hits the bubble and he lives. He'll do that a lot when he's at a very high percent just to make sure that he doesn't die from like any stray hit that would have galaxied. It gives him a second lease on life. And every time he gets into it, he'll just pop another one. Wow, another spear tree. I mean, I guess it makes some sense. Like the last game was pretty solid. Yeah, I think he's just really confident in this counter pick, and I don't blame him at all. It's a very popular Rano stage for several reasons: the side <laughs> platforms giving you up B angles, the thin blast zones being able to help with just killing earlier things like Dacus up smash confirms. We haven't been seeing um, as much Dacus from Lucius. I know he tends to rip those quite a bit, but for the most part, a lot of his kills have just been from like forward air stuff off the side. Edge guard confirms. Yeah, but so have Penguins. It's kind of showing that off right now. I mean, you slip up one time and you're getting back air to fade for your troubles. Yeah, he's been getting so much mileage out of these aerial tongues just like that, because if he whiffs them, he can just be able to get ground control and just be able to come back on stage afterwards. Yeah. That's the third one, and he just he just wave dashes back out of it. It's completely safe. I don't blame him at all for going for them because of how much utility they have. Penguin trying to come up high. Gonna get hit, but not die. Just getting thrown across, uh, across the stage. His his mix-ups on this on these ledges there have been so good. This is definitely why he likes the stage so much. He can use those aerial tongue slings. He can wave dash out of them. He can be able to up e cancel off that side platform. He just controls the edges, doing an incredible job here. Yeah, definitely. And I mean the overhang flats too. They're just useful in general for a character whose recovery isn't really that strong. Like Rana is just kind of mediocre. Yeah, it's really, really linear for the most part, unless you mix up with bubble stalls, which other Ranos have been doing a lot. But for the most part, Lucius has been making the most of it and just keeping it tricky on the sides. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Sage guard scary. Got a sweet spot. Oh yeah, Lucius drifts out really hard on that, and Penguin knows he can't just challenge that straight up, so he puts the cloud there for safety just to try and catch the landing. It's definitely good recognition to just kind of immediately react to like, okay, they drifted this well, like, I I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, absolutely. He realized that he can't just overextend on that. Really good oh. runoff air there. Really good parry. Incredible awareness from Lucius. Yeah, again, keeping these games like free even. Just gotta get one more stock and you'd have a game on the board. Yeah, he has a ton of experience with the abses here in Tri-State, but a player of that's as good as Penguin, I don't think he's been able to play as you know as many apps at that level, especially when it's basically just him and Proda and Akashi yeah. next to them. But with just Penguin specific, you have to know how to deal with his stuff specifically because no other Absa does this. For sure. Keeping it incredibly close right now and just being patient, stuffing out Penguin's attempts to get back on stage. Nair, Bear. Pretty good. That was a good tongue sling option there because it would have been safe if he didn't get interrupted. Ooh, catching the roll. Yeah. Penguin puts out his fist before he even does it because he just knows he's going to roll in. So the sheer confidence, but... Doesn't make sense. Uh, it's still getting really good stuff to lose, just like keeping all those games, especially that last game close. You know, there's a a real chance that that ended up going to him. But uh, Penguin determined to go on a tear right now in this loser's run. Yeah, the awareness on that parry was incredible on his part. <laughs> mm -hmm.